Good morning, everybody. It is 6.15. Oy. We got a pretty good day today. Uh, we got to head to Sacramento. Get some, or do a repair for our solar guy. You know, he's asking us, do him a favor. He does us favors. So it's only right if we reciprocate that back to him. Um, ah, damn, my toe hurts. So yeah, we got to get tile in the backyard real quick. Probably get like 10. Um, and that's pretty much about it. I know we do the cold start from here, but you know, left my shoes in the truck which is these ones. So, now we can do the cold start. I don't know what's with all these fucking ants. See all these ants on here? I don't know if you can see them, look. Look at them. It's like my truck's the highway. But, nonetheless. We got things to do. And watch, we're gonna need some gas too. 160 miles, so we'll be fine. We just have to head to the backyard real quick to get, hopefully, not covering them up, to get the tile. Hopefully you guys can hear right there, it doesn't muffle the little speaker. Oh, sorry, sorry, Cor. Don't video and drive. Yeet. You know, we do this all for the content, baby. Damn, someone dumped all their shit right here. That's fucked up. It's gonna go around this little dirt lot, but... Fun fact, this is where I got stuck in here. When I first got my... had it for like a week, I got stuck in here. I was doing the same thing I'm doing now. And then all my 4x4, four four, all my modes went out on me. And then I had to get pulled out. So yeah, fun fact about that one. Let's load up some tile, baby. Let's load her up. So it's cool about this truck, it's all, this is all electric. So you just click the button on the keys right here, goes up, double click. There she goes. And then there's a button on the inside that puts it down that I just pressed, but double click it again. And it goes down. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but oh, I got Starbucks. Got these egg bites, 300 calories, and then oh, solar guy. And then I got the vanilla sweet cold brew. It's 100 calories, so a total of 400. I'd say 420. Um, you know, I'm in a, a calorie deficit. It's a little hot in here. Uh, calorie deficit, maintenance calories, calculate all that stuff out. Uh, cal CalorieCounter.com. On uh, just hit up Google. I should probably get gas over here. It's gonna be like six bucks over there. But, you know, it is what it is. But anyways, um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. Oh, do you, guys, do you guys, can you guys tell the difference from the quality of previous videos to the last two videos? Because the last two videos, I got the new GoPro Hero 12 or GoPro, GoPro 12. I forget what it's called. One of the two, but it's a 12. And so it comes with a lot more features. I don't know if the camera quality is better or the video quality is better. So if you guys wanna let me know on that one, um, just let me know. To me, it looks a little bit better, but then again, I just see the videos on my computer where I edit them and that's pretty much about it. And then I post them. Um, so I can't, I'm not really like paying attention to the quality of the videos. I'm more like, oh, what's the content in the videos? And do I sound like a idiot or something? You know what I mean? So just let me know. All right. 
I've never done this. So check it out, guys. We're here in Vista slash Oceanside. Um, here is the roof in question. They had a leak around this area over here. Um, my guess is it's probably coming from this AC unit. Skylight, this looks like was added. So you can tell it was added because of the patch around it. Um, you can tell this wall looks newer than this. This doesn't really get beat up by the sun too much, so that's why it looks newer. Um, but you can tell all the kind of water condensation comes down. I don't know if this gas yeah, is all just granules from the from all the water flow. Kind of take all the granules off the torch, and it flows all the way down here. And you kind of tell because the, the drain there, or sorry, scupper there, scupper there. And you can kind of tell where it slants down that way. And if you go right here in the middle of the roof. I would say this is probably like the middle of the building, right around here, where it kind of matches. This flows that way. That portion of this side flows that way to that scupper. This portion that way flows that way to that scupper down there. This portion flows that way. Flows here, down to that scupper over there. This portion flows that way. And you can kind of tell it loops down that way to that scupper there. And this one kind of flows that way to that scupper. And this way flows that way. And that kind of, if the water goes that way, it'll either go that way or it'll go that way. So, with that being said, the leak is also over in this area. Um, with the torch roof, she says they moved in in 15, so it's already been 10 years almost. And they just had repairs done to it. As you can tell, this was a repair that was done to it. It's just, okay, this was a repair done. Um, looks like they put the silicone or the mastic around that just to kind of seal it off. So the customer just came out and told me she'd rather just, instead of doing the fix here and the fix there, just redo the whole thing, rip the bandaid off, get it all done. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure this. Now we already have it measured. Um, I come up here just to check for parapets like this one and parapets like this one. These all have to be included in the price because the torch has to go up. So you do is you measure from the top of that parapet right there, go four inches past the parapet where it's flat. So, cause you wrap up and you come down and when you wrap, you have to wrap down as well. So that's that. And you go from there all the way across, attach the middle, go up four inches, boom. And then for this side, you go same thing here, up the parapet, or sorry, up parapet right there, up and that way. And that'll give you the square off of this. You didn't do that side yet, it just gives you a square off for this. So you can even do that to here to where this is and get a square here. And then what you can also do is go from up there, down that way, and it gets this square right here. And then you just measure from wherever you stop the other one, from right here, go from here, up the parapet four inches past that because you have to wrap. You don't want to just go up and just leave, you have to wrap. So when you put the metal on, it's all secured 100%. And for torch, it's three ply base smooth granulated base goes on first smooth goes on then granulated for all solar tubes and flashings like flashings like here it's base put the base on you put the smooth on and then you put your flashing on nail your flashing you nail let's see go off of this you nail your flashing your flashings here like a square you nail every inch inch and a half con clavos put primer on it let it dry, put a camisa on it, a smooth on it so it seals it, and then you put your granulated over that. So it's almost, for flashing, it's base, smooth, flashing, smooth, granulated. It's almost five layers on a flashing. And on these, you go, for to go up a wall, you go your smooth to about right here, and then your granulated goes all the way up to the top to seal it off. Same like this. See, she should have these like this kind of frame on those as well because there's so much water that goes in this area especially this it looks like she does maybe she's rusted um but yeah count all your skylights one two three these are four by eights skylights it's your typical commercial skylights one two three three ac units uh that's probably like an exhaust fan for what they have inside the building because of this part, this section of it is warehouse. So whatever they do is what that's for the warehouse. Too much about it. So let's take a last look around. Oh, count your scuppers. Two, four, six, eight scuppers. 
uh, measure them so you know what scuppers to get if they are bad also look at the top right here your cap sheet on the top because you have to replace that you got to put that in the bid too and my best guess is we could probably reuse it we probably want to replace it just because it's old galvanized just get the just a little bit thicker because that's a one inch slip get a two it looks like a two by two by five by two by five by five so cover it all the way all this has to come off debris all these nails and stuff it's probably still in the roof so but yeah so that's it on to the next ladies and gentlemen boys and girls here's the truck in its state right now some crazy stuff's about to happen just take a peek i'm not gonna say nothing just take a peek we're off to somewhere where i know buddy and we're gonna just make things happen right now so let's hop in this truck and without further further or do let's just get into it enough yep yapping for me for once let's get the show on the road well <clears throat> we're back from the spot and all I can say, this thing looks beautiful, beautiful. Check her out. I won't say nothing first, but if you know anything that's different, say something. Comment. We'll just take a quick walk around. Yeah, I'm in my in my slides. Beautiful, beautiful. We're going to an event. It's Saturday morning. It is 7.05. <clears throat> Let's just get a cold. A little bit of a cold start for you folks. Alright, what's up everybody? Hopefully you enjoyed uh, yesterday's little video, or sorry, little clips. Uh, I'll do a little breakdown. We went to go see the job in Sacramento. Uh, I already landed that repair. It was a leak under the solar panels, so our solar guy was out there uh, to take off the solar panels, and we were there to fix the leak. And then we took off back to Vista for a commercial building of some of uh, customers that we've had previously. Uh, they wanna do that their commercial building and their building, so we gave them a price to redo it. They just decided to stop doing band-aids on the roof and rip it all up, put a brand new roof on there, which was dope. And then we also went to their, the owners, which is the owners of the building and business that we were at, and we went to their daughter's house because her daughter wants to do the roof as well, so we went to go give them a bid there as well um, and then that finished off that part of the roofing aspect and then I went to my buddy's shop Auto Pro SD and I just ran a red light and there's a cop no I didn't run a red light anyways we went to Auto Pro SD here in Vista where I'm located and as you can tell the Raptor decals did come off um, me personally I think it looks amazing um, I didn't really like the decals in the first place. It's just everybody that wanted to charge me was uh, too much. So the homie hooked it up. Um, it was great. Auto Pro SD. Asked for clay. Really cool. We've been homies and friends and basically family since I was probably two feet tall, three feet tall. Very cool dude. Go check him out. Auto Pro SD. I'll put it right there in the uh, video. Um, but yeah, so right now it's Saturday. It's 7.09 in the morning. Um, of course, we're going to stop, get a Starbucks real quick. And then we're heading to Irvine. Uh, Raptors and coffee. Uh, we're going to see a bunch of sick ass trucks, built trucks, Raptors, Gen 1s, all the way to Gen 3s or the Gen 3 Part 2, which is the Gen, the refresh. But first, let's get some, let's get a drink first. A venti vanilla sweet cream cold brew, please. And then can I get the cold foam on the top as well? Yeah. And that is it. Perfect. I'll see you. All right. Thank you. Got to get dialed in for the morning. Raptors and coffee. Got to show up with the coffee. I, I know we'll probably go get like a, from a random coffee shop, but Starbucks is right here. And I feel like driving all the way in town. 
and I don't know where to go get it because I don't know those places. I know Starbucks. <laughs> so yeah. Let's get it. I'm so excited to go. I've never been this excited to go see some fucking trucks. I'm hyped. You guys should be too. <laughs> oh shit. Got all the GoPro stuff, got the batteries and everything ready to roll. Um, my Akatia Well shirt that I had on. Uh, my dog threw up, so I have no choice to take it off and clean it up. Let's get it. Ranger Raptor. Shout out to Green that's sick. That's crazy. That's so sick. Beautiful dog. Oh, thanks, man. If I was going to do it, then you'd be going to I like the paint match. Oh shoot, but I also like the... Look at that. That's crazy. Like a dumbass, I didn't hit record. Damn, I went through all that and didn't even hit record. But dope ass event, a bunch of raptors, uh, met a bunch of cool people. It was probably a, the coolest event I've been to in a minute. So I, I'm, I'm on cloud nine right now. There's probably at least over a hundred raptors there, easy. Some of the people I follow on IG, met some new people there, met some cool dudes, met some owners of some racing shops and all that stuff. It, it was sick. Gosh dang, that was dope. So thank you guys for tuning to this week's video. Um, plenty more to come. Um, the next video will be about roofing. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're heading home now, back to the casa. Um, got some stuff to take care of. Gosh, that's so sick. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. There were so many cool trucks there. There was two Raptor Avalanche Grays that were R's. Uh, there was a white 24R. 
uh, a orange R, a black R. There's probably like six R's there. Everything else was well. They had the Gen ones too that were R's as well, not R's, but the V8. So that was sick. I'm not gonna lie, that that was probably a highlight for sure. Like it was probably the coolest thing ever. But yeah. So anyways, I could yap about this all day long. But anyways, that's the end of today's video. Uh, thank you guys for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. Um, uh, see you on the next video. The next video is probably going to be about roofing. Let me, I got to go home. So let's see which way this is going to take me. Go. Yeah, it's going to go straight. But yeah, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Um, this video will probably be uploaded either Sunday or Monday. Um, but yeah, gosh, that's so sick. Um, I took some pictures. I'll throw those pictures up. You follow my IG. Um, there'll be some stuff on the IG as well. Uh, thank you guys. Peace out. Stay blessed. Deuces.